the National Composite Centre is a technology and innovation centre. It sits in the space, if you like, between universities and, and industry. It takes emerging science and matures it to a point where, where industry can use it. We have a, a factory here where the materials are stored as they would be in, in, a, in a real factory in a freezer. We have the cutting process where the materials will be cut out through numerical control on, on computer-driven equipment that cuts out all of the plies. We then have the various manufacturing process equipment that enables us to lay the fibres into the tool. Um, so whether that be manual manufacture in the clean room or automated fibre placement on the robot. So the robots themselves can lay those fibres into the tool exactly where the designer wants them. And of course one of the key advantages of composites is, that, is, is the lightweighting part, making, th making products lighter. We then would move from there into a process where you cure the composite, you cook it, if you like, un under temperature and pressure. The collaboration model is extremely powerful. We find that by, by operating in this space with our expertise and by people who maybe have learnt some similar development process in the past, you get technology transfer from, from one sector to another. We get a very powerful approach that delivers solutions very fast. The primary area of interest to us in the next two to three years will be around manufacture of, of components for the automotive industry. Automotive, again, very attractive by making vehicles lighter, reduces fuel consumption, and reduces CO2 emissions, something we all care about. And the way to get at that really is, is obviously to find lower cost, higher rate of manufacture solutions to making composite components. We are starting to automate a different type of robotic process whereby we can put larger amounts of the, of the material into a mould far quicker and then we take the mould and the, with the material into it into a press, into a heated press uh, and in the NCC now we have, have the largest press of its type in Europe designed for manufacturing of prototype parts for the automotive industry. We can make a whole floor pan of a, of a, a typical saloon car and the press has a, has a typical cycle time of five minutes. It's vitally important that we validate what we're doing because we're dealing with a relatively immature technology here. So the ability to predict how it will behave is quite limited. So we can, we can do whatever we can on a computer, but until you actually try it out in reality, you don't know whether you've got the solution you need and one you've been looking for. So the validation is, is all about proving the concept works in, in real life. And, and throughout all, the, all of this process, we've recognised the people dimension to this is crucial. It's all very well developing new technology, but if it's shut in this building and there aren't people to take it out into industry and deploy it and use that knowledge, then, then we've really not fulfilled our purpose. So, so developing people alongside the accelerating innovation part of this process is crucial. So our new building will have a training school in it, it will use the same workshop facilities essentially that the SMEs can use and we will be running courses in there that will make sure that the composite professionals have the latest state of knowledge and also that we can do conversion training for those people who are today perhaps working in metallics but recognise that their industry is making this journey, making this transition out of metallic solutions into composite solutions. The NCC has been a huge success. It's been here for three years now. We've filled the first phase of building and we've had to double the size of it. The opportunity here lies in the fact that Composites is growing so fast globally and the UK industry is positioned now in an ideal place to take advantage of that growth. The role of the NCC then, and having the expertise and the equipment and everything else, is to help the UK industry grab that. We help accelerate the innovation, develop the people they need and provide the solutions to be globally competitive.